Welcome back everybody. Just going to do a real quick video today just to kind of demonstrate the new level 2 view we have as well as how to, you know, make some configuration changes to it if you need. So as of today, we have a new expanded level two box. Uh, it, we now have a cumulative level two. This is actually something that's been requested by a lot of uh, a lot of users, and I actually really like this. Um, I don't necessarily look to quote unquote micromanage level two. I just want to know where the bidders are, uh, you know, where the sellers are, how much size, and, and the price. I'm not looking to target, you know, specific market makers, etc. So you've got your normal level two depth below, and then you've got your time and sale indicator with, with your size in the middle. And then we've also now, so this is the new feature, cumulative level two. So you can see on Apple, I mean, obviously level two is changing all the time, but the green groups are grouped together. So for instance, on the bidder size, you can see I've got at, the, at this time, eight market makers at 153 62 and the total cumulative size which is changing real time all the time so it's nice because i can just see the top three bigger bidders as well as the lowest sellers and how many market makers are sitting there and then the total cumulative size without having to set here you know especially like a stock with apple that has you know uh, seven eight ten plus market makers You've got to kind of do the math. You've got to track who's coming in and out. So if you do want to look, you know, say with an OTC stock and see which particular market maker is moving around on the bid or ask, that's fine. You can leave this on. I, on NASDAQ stocks and more liquid stocks, I just want to know the cumulative size on the bid and ask. Now, if you don't want to use it yet or maybe don't like it, you can change it. And actually, let me zoom in. Uh, whoops, let me zoom here. So again, you can see, just give you a little better view real quickly. Again, eight market makers on the bid side at 153.63, their total size, and then on the ask side as well, same thing. So instead of looking at and adding up all the size, the size is added up for you so you know each, uh, you know, how big the bid and the ask is. Then again, if you're not ready to use it or maybe you don't like it, you can just go to your gear, let me zoom, go to your gear in the upper right, level two, and then you can see, you can hide the book entry bar, which is the bar right here, that's showing the size change and bid ask size change, and then you can also hide cumulative size. So let me show you what it looks like with just standard. So here's with the book uh, hidden, you've got your cumulative and your expanded view, I would call it. Then you can go to gear, level two, hide cumulative size, and then you're back to, I guess, what maybe you could call a more traditional full book view of the bid and ask. So um, we're always looking to grow and change. Try it out. Check it out. Again, I really like the cumulative size, especially on more liquid, liquid active NASDAQ stocks. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time.